what's up boys next gen man is out and i'm sure you guys have been playing it have been watching it have been reviewing it yourself now there's a lot of things to be said about it it's a lot different than the current gen madden i will tell you that much um, but I will break down more of my initial thoughts after playing about 70 games of Next Gen Madden. We played 50 games a week in League. We had two accounts in the top 10, including no money spent. That video will be later today or tomorrow, man. If you get this video of 500 likes, I will bring you the best game from no money spent. But this is my regular team. This is one of my first three games on the Next Gen Madden where... I was just trying to get used to it and you know people are in such a hurry to put out a video let me put out a video i want to put out my video right away i want to be the first one with a video i one of my biggest pet peeves in being in the madden community is just the jump to judgment of a game you played for one hour or a game you played for one drive man i really wanted to dive in give it a weekend give it about probably six days like i said probably 70 plus games of next gen madden before i really formed a decent opinion i could give you guys um, but like I said, stay tuned after this gameplay and I will break down what my initial thoughts on the first week of Next Gen Madden and we will definitely talk a lot about Next Gen Madden on the podcast. We've been doing the podcast on Wednesdays because the MCS games are on Tuesday. So make sure you guys click that link below to go to Twitch. Check me out on Wednesdays with the podcast. Set your notifications so you're live, but you know the podcast will also be here on YouTube if you miss it live. But First things first, let's go ahead and get into my team, show you guys my team, what I'm working with right now on the God Squad. I know we don't pay a lot of attention to this team. I don't use it that much, honestly. It's kind of boring. You know, there's not as much fight. Uh, it's pretty, I don't want to, the word isn't easy, but uh, it's pretty non-challenging to use this team. But right here, this is our O-line. We geeked it up on the left side a little bit, getting Orlando Pace and Norwell uh kevin Y, ryan ramshack I, I honestly feel like uh o-line can't do too much better i'm using edge protector and post up on the center for the double team it allowed me to step up a little bit easier the one thing about post up too is i can move it around wherever i need it if i need him at guard if i need him at tackle i will put kevin Y at tackle mid game if i'm getting killed by a defensive end to double team uh we're rocking vernon davis um just for the niners cam i still think waller's the best um, I think he is, but we got Vernon Davis right now. DK Metcalf, Josh Allen, Reggie Bush, Tyree Kill, full Tyree Kill, and this card. Brandon Ayuk, big Uke, this card. I'm telling you guys, this card is something you guys want to look into. For me, because he gets Slotomatic, he's a slot archetype. That means he gets Slotomatic for just two OP AP. I think Slotomatic is the best route running um, ability in the game. Uh, so I like to use that. And he gets up to 95 speed plus three speed because I have Niners Kemp. So 95 speed slot with Slotomatic is really high powered. And he's a super budget. I use him a lot. Love that card. Still have Metcalf. I think he's still a mo I think he's still good. I see a lot of people with McLaurin obviously Tyreek but uh, this is big body one thing about next gen man people do be getting hit sticked so I like that big body defensive side of the ball we're rocking Ed Reed to safety Ronnie Lott Taylor Mays I love this Kendall Fuller card um DRC Patrick Peterson Revis Dion Sneed I have Dante Jackson out here too uh, pass rushers, we got Lawrence Taylor, Derek Thomas, we got Ricky Jackson still, we got Aaron Donald, we put inside stuff on him, uh, just a, a lot of bodies, a lot of bodies, uh, the best bodies you could pretty much get in the game, I don't know if I'm missing a card, let me know, uh, over here, we do use lockdown, we do use go deep, 25 Chiefs for Tyreek Hill, Kendall Fuller, uh, Legereus Sneed, boost those guys up, mostly Tyreek Hill get 98 speed. Um, N25 Niners for Reggie Bush, Taylor Mays, Deion Sanders, getting some speed on those guys. Obviously full sprinter, a little bit of play fake, a little bit of pass rush, a little bit of brawler. Just continuing to get this team better, continuing to build this team. And that's what I'm working with now, man. Uh, like I said, stay tuned after the video. I'm going to give you a little bit more in detail what I think about next gen. And we'll talk about it more on the podcast. And get this video to 500 likes and I will drop the no money spent video. So let's get into this gameplay. One of my first games on next gen, man. All right, boys. So we're playing my man, Milton. Milton is a full Saints themed team. But if you guys follow me on these social medias, man, I, I'm not a Saints fan. I think they're soft. I think Michael Thomas is just a baby. 
Uh, not a fan of the Saints. But Milton plays pretty good defense, but you always want to play good defense when Josh Allen overthrows an in route. Uh, I don't know, first play of the game. Gotta love starting a game like that from Josh Allen. People always tell me, go to Favre, go to Favre, go to Favre. I still like that little bit of mobility that Josh Allen gives me. Now, I will tell you this about Milton. He is the low ball demon. He will throw the ball in the middle of the field. And we played earlier. He was one of my first, two of my first five games. He popped me one game. This was our rematch. And uh, I tell you, he will throw the ball over the middle of the field with no regard for your linebacker and no regard for your user. And if you watch this game, watch my user. One of the biggest differences in this game is just how stiff, and you see it right there, just the user is so slow. The user cannot change direction. Now, some of you guys might like that. There's a big community that says, man, I don't like the, the user being able to cover four routes. I, I can't even move at all. You know, it's I don't think it's about covering four routes, but I want to just take away the middle of the field, hash mark the hash mark, and it's tough for me to do that. As we throw the ball to DK Metcalf right here, uh, like I said, even the response time when you have the ball in the open field is a big difference in this game. So the biggest thing I'll take away as I get hit stick fumbled with Vernon Davis and Ricky Jackson picks it up. Uh, like I said, the, the user is not as responsive, both on offense, defense, Anytime you get the ball as he throws this nice crosser over here to Jimmy Graham. I said, he, I think he has a 50-50 Saints theme team. Still has Drew Brees uh, at the helm. And here, I just can't go down and cover that slant to Michael Thomas. I, I just can't move. I want you guys to keep watching my user. Who I have Jeremy Chin there. I have Chin and Taylor Mays at linebacker. Once again, I'm in the middle of the field. Cannot get back to that. I went too far in the end zone. Maybe you guys like that. Maybe you guys feel like I shouldn't be able to cover everything. Right there, we run commit and... He throws the ball to Darrell Revis, and Darrell Revis, with that Chiefs theme team, with the 96 speed on Revis, is going to take this to the Baja to tie the game up. So, uh, he's pepper in the middle of the field. Got to keep my user, got to keep my feet underneath of me. The one thing about whether you agree with the user, whether you agree with this slowing down, whether you want it to be fast like it was on next or current gen, uh, it takes some getting used to either way. So I'm used to being able to cover a little bit more space. And right there, he goes right at Darrell Revis again after he got picked six by Revis. Here I go. Once again, I'm in the middle of the field. He just, he will throw the ball at you. You got to learn that. You got to stay disciplined. Um, but this time I go to Taylor Mays. Another one. I'm telling you, you can, it's hard to move your hips. It's hard to move around. Now, you guys are watching this. I mean, should I be able to cover this? And right there, he just threads the needle to, to, to Brandon Cook's. I feel like I should be able to cover some of this stuff and literally I can't and and I don't know if it's just getting used to the game or I just can't move in the right areas to in right there eventually eventually Revis is going to get him this time does Revis go back to back Bajas Darrell Revis Chiefs theme will go back to back Bajas gotta love it um that's why we use Darrell Revis that little bit of speed boost up I don't know if you guys are using them let me know, man. Who are your corners? Let me know. Who are you guys rocking? I'm still DRC, still Dion forever. And then I use Revis as my main slot uh, corner. But here, we're just going to go. We're going to use our vert hook area right at me. This time I was ready for it. We're going to take this one to the uh, down to the 15 yard. So this is getting ugly. We're actually that time I just played my user did not move anywhere. Uh, so we got to go ahead and get some points here inside the 15 yard line inside the 10. We're going to get a ball to Reggie Bush right here. Can he fight for me? Uh, we're going to milk some clock here. Another stretch, Reggie Bush. He gets held up at the one. Don't want to try to punch it. Another stretch. Reggie Bush gets held up again. Third and goal, five-yard line. We're going to run a little base. Reggie Bush held up again. Uh, we're going to take three right here. Played it really safe right there. Didn't want to risk anything. Uh, like I said, I feel like he's just throwing at my zones. If you guys are watching, he's he's throwing the ball at my zones. If you guys have watched the stream, you've seen me play Milton a bunch of times. He is the throw at your zone demon. He will low ball. He will fit that pass in. As you see, he runs this play action play. Uh, looking for somewhere to go. Nothing to go. I have 10 seconds left in half. Can't give up nothing. As he goes to this five wide right here. And I will tell you right, five wide is... is I, I don't know what to call against it, but that was the end of the first half. Second half, we're kicking the ball up. We're up by 10. Always feels good to be up by 10. Got to stop Reggie Bush. Got to play my zone. Don't go too much. Stay in the middle of the field. Once Like, I just... 
I, I just can't move the way I want to. Again, middle of the field. I, I almost want to just plant myself at the hash mark in the middle of the field. Once again, in the middle. It's tough to guard this. And then, like I said, in the other game, in the current gen, we would be all over these passes. But just learning how my hips move and how I'm able to spin around. Getting a little used to that, or getting used to that, I should say. Uh, but we're up 10 points. We're feeling good. We've caught three picks in the first half. We're going to catch some more right there. Nowhere to go. We get the scoop and score. Dwight Freeney can't get it done. I had Dwight Freeney here. Uh, I do have Aaron Donald now. That was one of the differences in these teams. Is we're going to go up top right here to Tyreek Hill. Can't come down with the pass. Uh, I feel like this game is over for the most part. As long as we don't do any bad turnovers as we throw this low ball over the middle of the field. Tyreek Hill, we're in field goal range. Looking good, cooking with gas underneath Tyreek Hill. And, of course, we fumble. And Ricky Jackson is going to oppo baja me now they say dda isn't in the game but man i mean i just up 10 about to score lose the game we fumble pretty much to the crib and this time he goes right at my user again now i don't care if you're a sim guy and you and you know you don't want to be able to cover four routes and cover come on man i that that can't happen you guys can't agree that should have happened i mean right at my user i had sam mills a little bit short but I mean, I feel like I was in good position right there. But we go up top. There's that guy I told you guys about. Brandon Ayuk to the Baja. Uh, he's got treads. He's got the elbow sleeves. I mean, he's he's locked in. Locked and loaded. Love that guy in the slot. If you guys are running a bunch, any offense where you can put Brandon Ayuk in the slot, try it out. I'm telling you, it is a solid acquisition for your team. But we're up 10 now. Got to stop him. This time dumps it off to Reggie Bush. Uh, gets a couple yards. Tick, 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 tick. I feel like anything under 10 yards is a win for the offense here. Even that right at 10 yards is going to take 20 seconds off the clock. Uh, just got to guard deep for the most part. Right here he goes. That one just, I, I'm telling you, you guys, watch my user. It's slow. It's sloppy. Not efficient. Uh, I'm not covering ground like I want to. Uh, right here I'm just going up top, and he goes right at me again. I mean, if you guys haven't played this game, haven't watched it, you guys have watched me play, obviously, thousands of games. Um, this is the worst my user has been. And honestly, the most I've been thrown directly at in a Madden game from my man Milton. So now all we got to do is go ahead and uh, get a first down. That's what it's about. We're up by three. Uh, if we get a first down, we win. We're going to just mix in some runs as we get another first down right here. He only has two timeouts left. Going to milk this all the way to one. Look for somewhere to go with the ball. Didn't like anybody on this play right here. I didn't like anybody. I took a sack uh, to make sure that I kept that clock running. Second and 15, we milk a little bit more. Uh, and we go throw a ball. Nice gain, but we're, we're out of bounds. Stop the clock. Third and eight. We're going to go for it all here. Up top, Tyreek Hill. Bah, ha. That's going to seal the game. That's going to do it. We're up, we're up by two scores, uh, and that's pretty much what you need. Once again, Tyreek Hill up top. Baja, go up 10, 30 seconds left. That's going to cook the game. Now, like I said, man, I want to break you guys down with some of my thoughts of uh, Next Gen Madden. Uh, like I said, for me, it goes back to the user being this bad, the user being that slow uh, and unresponsive. It is the biggest difference from current gen to next gen. So if you get this next gen Madden, if you don't have a PlayStation, don't have an Xbox Series X, uh, when you first get it, you're going to notice the biggest difference. I could not cover. It wasn't sideline to sideline. That was pretty much uh, hash mark to hash mark five yards apart. I couldn't cover two routes. Um, I think that's a bit drastic. I personally love an overpowered user. I feel like offensively, it's my job to make sure my route combinations are not in the area of a field where you can cover two of them. If, you, if your opponent is covering four or three of your routes, your spacing is not good. And I feel like as an offensive coordinator, that is my job to control the spacing. So for me, the user argument will always uh, fall on deaf ears for me because I do a good job of making sure I don't get lurked. Uh, that is in play design, it's in play calling, it is in mixing up your plays, it is mixing up your tempo, a lot of different things you can do to make sure you don't get lurked. So for me, I always like a little bit better user because I think that is a skill gap. It is a uh, difference maker. Uh, when I can't take away a lot of the field, I feel a little bit rough against a guy like Milton 
my guy, but he was running a lot of routes right in the same spot. You guys watch the game, and I feel like I should be able to take away that area of the field if he has three wide receivers in it. Uh, also, the offensive views are really nasty, really slow and clunky, way different than the current gen. Um, I, I have been on record. You guys watch the podcast. You guys watch me. I really like the current gen, Madden. I think it has a huge skill gap. I think that's being shown in all the MCS games that have been blowouts. Uh, when the good players are really, really good this year, and, and that's because the game is pretty solid. You know, and so this next gen man takes a lot of getting used to some positives. There's a favorite play feature. You know, you can put five plays in your favorite plays and just be in that section and call your plays the whole time. Um, the graphics, you guys be the judge. They definitely look better. We're not going to say they don't look better. They, it looks really good. Game looks awesome. Uh, so that's definitely a positive. The favorite play call menu, that's a positive. The, um, the graphics, the pass lead, way more responsive pass lead on next gen. You can change where you throw post routes deep, left, right. You saw him throw that one post over my head with a crazy pass lead up. A lot of velocity on that that touch or that that bullet pass. And so that's one of the positives as well. Uh that and one of the other biggest negatives I'll give you guys is the zones kind of trash, especially deep zones, whether it be a third, whether it be a half, uh kind of trash. Um, but we'll continue to play it, continue to put out videos. Like I said, get this one to 500 likes, and I will post my no money spent video. Uh, it was a great, it was a great week for no money spent. But this is my first game. I still have tons more gameplay that I recorded over the weekend. I'm gonna keep recording, so make sure you guys keep hitting that like button and keep coming back. Next gen Madden might be here to stay, or we might go back to current gen, depending on how I'm feeling.